Hi, I am here today to show all of you how we prepared a placenta for our daughter, Penelope. Um, our daughter has Rett syndrome, which is a gene mutation. And we had a little boy last March and heard that giving her his placenta could help minimize the effects of the Rett syndrome. So we figured we had nothing to lose. It was totally worth trying. And we saw amazing results. Um, Penny's gotten a few words back. She's gained so much strength and she's so much happier than she's ever been before. Um, and I've shared this story with other people and I get all the time, how do you prepare it? How do you do it? And this is really something for dads to do because, um, I mean, mom's going to be in the hospital. Mom's going to be having the baby. And so dad's going to have to handle this. My husband fed ours to Penny and he did an amazing job. And Penny took it without complaining. We mixed it with yogurt and fed it to her on a spoon. She has low oral tone. So we couldn't really give it to her on a straw or through a straw, but some people make smoothies. Um, so I am just here to show you guys how we prepared it. It's very simple and yeah, so um, we actually got a placenta from a friend to go ahead and make this video for. So I'm just going to show you what it is. So we bring ours home from the hospital, like in a plastic bag or a plastic container or something similar to that. Um, so here it is. It does look kind of gross. It is like a bag of meat. Um, but Placentas are rich with stem cells, so, and placentas grow every part of a person, so there's every type of cell in placentas, um, and when you give your child their siblings placenta, there's a one in four chance that every cell will be accepted. Um, we even shared ours with a friend's little boy, no relation at all. And he was supposed to be a vegetable. I mean, he was, it's kind of sad, the prognosis they got for him. Um, but he's army crawling across the floor now. He can sit up unassisted for, I think she said about five to 10 minutes. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's not related to us and it made a huge deal in his life. So, um, you need to do it just like you would prepare any kind of meat. I do have gloves on just because, you know, it's somebody's body part, so. Um, but you just, you're gonna have blood and stuff on it. I mean, you're just gonna wanna take it out and rinse it all off. And just rinse off all that extra yuck. Okay. So the richest part, the richest part of 
the placenta with stem cells is the umbilical cord. So you want to start that first. This is kind of graphic, so I'm going to warn you guys, but this is what it looks like. This is the umbilical cord. This is the most important part to give your child. Um, there is kind of like a membrane on the outside of the placenta, which we removed. We did not give that to her. Um, and you can kind of just tear it off. Um, you can use your kitchen scissors to take off anything you need to. And so you have stuff going on like this. Um, and then my husband left the placenta part in, in the fridge. And oh, you know, as days or whatever went on, you know, each time he gave her more, he just cut off a piece from it and put it into the blender. And I mean, you just cut it like you would any kind of meat, like. And so you just have little pieces um, and you just give it to them I was told three days is the best amount of time um, you need to pack as much of it into your special needs child as you can in three days um, and that way the stem cells are still live, still viable, um, still going to help your kid. Um, this is extremely good for the new mother as well. I don't know how open-minded some of you are, but it helps increase your milk supply. Um, keeps postpartum from happening. There's all kinds of benefits to it. Um, I was told by a placenta encapsulator, you know how they put placenta into capsules now? Um, she told me that there is absolutely no improvement that can happen from giving your child someone else's placenta or from giving, giving your child a placenta. She told me it would only be accepted by the mother's body. Um, and I looked her right in the face and I told her, okay, you know, whatever. I already know it'll help. So, you know, you can just say whatever you want. Um, the other question I get all the time is how come my doctor didn't tell me this? And I don't know. I don't know why doctors don't tell people this. Um, my doctors did not even know of the possibility of it helping. And they were very excited to, to track her progress. Um, we gave Penny her first dose of placenta in March and we went back and saw our neurologist in August. Because, you know, you go back and get your kid checked every six months or so. Um, and she stuck her head in the room and, and then walked back out, looked at the chart, and came back in and said, Oh, my goodness, I can't believe how different your kid looks. Um, she said, No offense, but your kid was really floppy before. She said, This is amazing. Did you do it? Did you do the placenta? And I said, Yeah. I mean, we did horseback riding over the summer you know I mean she had a lot of fun doing that she said oh all my patients do horseback riding this is not horseback riding um, so then she asked me how I administered it and stuff like that and we left the appointment with her so excited to see us again um, because she's excited to see the difference it'll make for Penny through the years 
and it made so much progress in just six months. The cells from my son will continue to grow inside Penny forever. So she'll just continue to get better and better all the time. Okay, so this part again is very gruesome looking. We just used a basic blender. And you just put it into it. If, if you're giving it to your own child, I mean, I'm doing this for to share with you guys, but if you're giving it to your child, um, I would recommend doing the cord first, um, making sure they get all of that. And, um, but I'm just gonna put a little bit more in this time so that you guys can see the difference. Um, As you can tell it looks kind of gross um, from here we put I mean we just blended it down um, my husband threw some berries into it my daughter likes strawberries and blueberries a lot so he put some of those in it just so some of the same textures were going on from food she was familiar with and then we mixed it all into yogurt and we just fed it to her on a spoon um, it did not alter the taste at all. This is completely tasteless. Um, the hardest part is just getting through it. And you really just have to have in your mind that it could potentially save your kid. I mean, you could be holding the cure for whatever your child's issues are. And that's how my husband got through it because he doesn't, I mean, He's kind of squeamish with this kind of thing. So, um, he just knew he had to. We had to try. We had to, to do what we could to give her the best life possible. So, I hope this is helpful. And if anyone has any questions, I don't mind answering them. Um, thanks so much. I hope it helps more people out there. Thanks.